Hi, my name is Bill Curtis. You may have seen some videos by me or about me on YouTube. These showed how I changed my lifestyle and my Parkinson's greatly improved. I made these videos a few years ago and perhaps you've wondered how am I doing today or what's going on. That's the purpose of making this video. I want to report on how things have gone. I turned 45 in the year 2000 when I first noticed several symptoms common to Parkinson's disease. I eventually set up an appointment at the Parkinson's Disease and Movement Disorders Center at the University of Maryland School of Medicine. The good news that was delivered along with my diagnosis was that with treatments, I would most likely expect to continue to live a normal life for about 10 years. We did not talk about what would come after the 10 years. 10 years seemed like a long enough time to hope for an effective treatment to stop the progression or cure the disease. Well, 10 years passed. I experienced what happened in later years as Parkinson's got out of control. The ongoing damage to my nervous system and my body caused me to gradually build up more severe symptoms. Many of the symptoms did not respond to higher doses and new combinations of drugs. My doctors started to discuss deep brain stimulation and implanting a device in my brain. I became unemployed. I gave up my driver's license. I estimated that my drugs worked well for about two to three hours on good days. That was my condition five or six years ago. But that was not the end of the story. I went for my latest checkup in September of 2021. The same doctor who diagnosed me has been my Parkinson's disease specialist for the entire course of my treatment. She's now the director of the Parkinson's Disease and Movement Disorders Center at the University of Maryland School of Medicine. My condition has improved dramatically. I have had no increase in symptoms or need to change drug regimen for several years. When considering how serious my symptoms had been, my current lack of progression of Parkinson's disease and improved symptoms, my doctor said I was by far the best case of the thousands of patients who had come through the clinic at the University of Maryland. What my doctor said was amazing. I thought about what she had told me. What if other people with Parkinson's disease could avoid the progression of ever worsening symptoms such as those I experienced in the first 15 years of Parkinson's disease? What if my doctor could say to newly diagnosed patients that we now know how to keep Parkinson's from progressing? What if persons with Parkinson's disease could live without progression of the disease and not suffer noticeably from Parkinson's disease symptoms? For those questions to be answered, one would need a clinical trial. This would be a simple test to show that the protocol can be adopted by another person with Parkinson's disease. Looking back at my videos, I think they give you an incomplete picture of what I do. I don't use a ketogenic diet. I don't use the amount of cream and butter and coconut oil that the original recipe called for. I exercise about six days a week. I take a minimum of 15 milliliters of active ingredients of ketone ester in the morning. Here's a list of what I do for Parkinson's. Number one, I take my Parkinson's meds on time. One of these is a generic form of Azelect called Resagiline Mesylate. Two, I take a baseline of nutrients, including multivitamins, B vitamins, vitamin D, omega-3 fatty acids, magnesium citrate, and I recently started supplementing a class of lipids called plasmalogens. I fast every day for 16 hours, making use of circadian rhythms. I exercise in the morning in a fasted state. I try to get my heart rate to 140 beats three or four times. I take some healthy fats in the morning during the fast. These include coconut oil. I don't consider the fat as breaking the fat. I take some exogenous ketones in the morning. I avoid acute overfeeding of protein or carbohydrates. I avoid fructose in high fructose corn syrup and sucrose. I avoid foods that are high in carbohydrates and low in fiber. I eat healthy fats and avoid polyunsaturated fatty acids. I plan to make instructional videos that one could use to teach persons with Parkinson's disease to follow the protocol in a clinical trial. If you have an interest in these videos, I will put them in a playlist. The link to the playlist is found in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.